I lost my apartment. Everything that I put together, the monitor arm, they're all in a dumpster in Encino somewhere. I guess I should tell you where I've been. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been an ordeal. At the beginning of this year, I thought that I was going to be able to make one video per week. The joke was absolutely on me because I am not used to using digital tools to create things like this with my new eyes. Previously, I had accommodation for when I couldn't see. Now I needed an accommodation because I can only see at one fixed focal length. I got myself a set of monitor arms from Amazon. I spent way too much time trying to figure out how to put it together. Got the monitor on. There has to be a way to remove this stand. Now I have to do the rest. I managed to get it together. And it's a new skill for me. I was really proud of myself. I devoted every waking hour that I wasn't eating or working or sleeping on doing this. Little did I know my spicy vision was going to be taken advantage of. I lost my apartment. Everything that I put together, the monitor arm, they're all in a dumpster in Encino somewhere. I had to leave with a less than 24 hours notice and my new apartment is half the size of my older apartment. So I lost a lot of items. I wanna thank everybody who helped me during this time, especially you know who you are on Instagram who found this apartment for me and you're now my neighbor. Thank you. I owe you some cookies still, and I will bake them. I think this is gonna be relatable because I know a lot of people have been dealing with people like my landlord. So I'm gonna break down for you exactly what I did because he was trying to charge me an extra $4,000 to leave, which would be another month's worth of rent and my security deposit. Step one, I documented everything in writing. I had sent him messages, text messages that had red receipts and emails that had dates to show that he had ignored me 20 or 30 times. He actually told me that it was not a problem and it was totally safe. He knew that I was vision impaired. He knew I couldn't exactly see what was going on at the detail. And I also don't have the life experience. He also knew that I, you know, my background, I didn't learn a lot of the things that you guys learned. I had thought the place I lived had a good vibe because they were really sensitive to my situation when I moved in, but it just got me taken advantage of. Step two, ask for help and consider legal representation. I posted on some local communities here in LA asking people for assistance. I got the name of a lawyer who did a consultation with me. They advised me to hire a mold inspector, which I did to get a sample to confirm that it was mold. There were actually three types of mold coating the windows and actually inside the walls to the point that the entire apartment probably needs to be demolished and redone. Although he didn't do that, he rented it out to somebody else within two weeks. A lot of these attorneys who do things like this will take it on contingency, which means you don't pay anything if they take your case. In my case, I just wanted out of my lease and I wanted to move on because I no longer felt safe there. I live in a place where earthquakes happen, my balcony was shaking, a lot of things were starting to fall apart and not get maintained. Twice I actually had medical issues I had to go to urgent care for because of poor maintenance in my apartment and I was just done with it. Step three is get proof documented and report it to the city. I sent all of this to the city of Los Angeles. There's a environmental health and there's a few you know tenant rights places that I reached out to. My goal here was to build a case so that he wouldn't penalize me. I was just going back into the apartment to kind of clear it out. I didn't even feel safe in there and I had to leave all of the the windows and doors open. Step four, leave somewhere safe. Like I said, um, a friend who follows my Instagram had a lead on a place I got lucky. I mean, this is unheard of to find a place this quickly. I, um, I'm now a proud resident of Burbank. Burbank has always been my favorite place. You'll even see that I've done a video on Burbank before because I always go there when I'm, you know, unhappy to cheer myself. And step five, send a written letter with your request to the landlord. I sent him a request to vacate. I cited all of the evidence, said what I wanted, which is like, let's just part ways. I just wanted to get back and making these videos for you. And if you're going through this and you need like a letter about how to vacate, you can totally just find templates online. And, just... and step six is if you're a woman, come to meetings with a guy. 
and no matter who you are, try to come with friends. Because these people, they brought three large military looking guys to this meeting, which they thought was just me. People will talk one way if you're just by yourself and another way if you have a guy friend there. It's been all about clear documentation, clear communication, being persistent and polite, controlling what I can control. Always work backward from what the goal you have is, and that's what I did here. My goal was to get, to get back to you, to get back to making these videos. And here I am. I am so happy to be here. You're just saying goodbye to me. Hello. I am gonna miss you, little buddy. Yeah, you like my peanuts. I'm gonna do my best to do one video per week. I don't know if I'm gonna make that goal, but post things in the comments. I do have a Q&A video coming up. I love you guys. Thank you.